Hello. Uh, when I spoke to Audra and agreed to do this conference, I was working, uh, living mostly in Europe and North America as a risk and crisis communication consultant. Yeah, being here in Laos and being on the front line of emergencies um, reminds me that just how um, limited the time and the resources that you've got to deal with the emergency are. Um, so in poorer resource countries such as Laos, but also in um, most countries in Europe, it's difficult to do more than uh, the essential. Academics and researchers could help risk and crisis communication practitioners um, by developing the evidence base on what works and what doesn't work in, uh, in crises and emergencies. Um, that's, in theory, that's the opportunity. Uh, the other thing, though, that I've learned, being kind of back on the front line here, but also I've been chairing meetings of... Um, yeah, front, front line emergency and crisis communicators in the health sector from around Europe and, uh, and Asia. Uh, there's an issue of trust. Um, we talk a lot about trust in the WHO and in all of our kind of, in the, in the United Nations and all of our advice on how to do crisis and risk communication well, you know, build trust with your stakeholders, the media and partners. Um, the reality though is that crises are all mostly very political and so the practitioners that are working on them, um, most of them really don't trust journalists um, and that's a difficult one if you want journalists to trust you probably don't trust academics that much. So there's the challenge for, for you guys at Crisis 6. Um, work out how to get the crisis um, practitioners and professionals to trust you, and then start studying them and produce some nice case studies and evidence that we can use to do what we do even better. Okay, thanks and have a great conference.